What's up e-bikers? Chris Cross here. I'm an e-bike enthusiast who's uh, been riding e-bikes for about a year now. And today I want to do a quick video on uh, the most affordable folding fat tire e-bikes out there. So I am an uh, electric uh, 2.0 owner. Um, it's a foldable fat tire e-bike with uh, 20 by 3 inch tires. And the, the great thing about folding fat tire e-bikes is A, they look cool, number one. And B, the portability. That's why people buy these because you can take them anywhere. They fold up in a clamshell, you throw them in the back of your car or truck, or even in the back seat sometimes, and uh, you take them wherever you want to go. Uh, and that's why I bought a uh, folding fat tire e-bike myself. Uh, there are a number of e-bikes out there to choose from, but I want to put together a list of the most affordable ones. So we're talking about $9.99, and I got a couple around $11.99 that you should check, that you should uh, consider as well. So I'm not gonna tell you what to buy, but, um, I think all the e-bikes I'm showing you today are, uh, are good good bikes. Uh, electric is the most popular, of course. They've sold tens of thousands of these, and this customer service has been great. So that's kind of why I went with it. Um, my first e-bike purchase, and I wanted to you know buy from a company I, I could trust. And because of the uh, the amount of electrics out there and the support that they have, both uh, on their site and their phone numbers, and even in the social media groups, there's there's just great uh, groups around. Uh, this bike to help you out with basically any kind of question you might have but uh, check out these e-bikes that uh, I'm about to show you and uh, thanks for watching the channel okay everyone let's take a look at the uh, most affordable folding fat tire e-bikes that are out there in the market that I would uh, check out if I were you. Starting with electric, of course. Uh, I'm an electric owner. I used to own the 1.0, now I have the 2.0. And um, right now they are shipping in three weeks uh, for $9.99. You can get the uh, step through or the high step. The high step only comes in black or midnight blue as it's called. And the uh, step through comes in white or uh, the midnight blue. These are what they look like. They both have, they all have uh, mounting points in the front and back for racks, uh, lots of great accessories, and um, still what probably the, the most popular folding fat tire bike that's out there in the market. They sold tens of thousands of these in the last two years. So it's a really great product. It's a really great customer service from the team there out in Phoenix, and uh, highly recommend them if you want to. This is your first e-bike. I think Electric is an excellent company to go with. Uh, given the fact that they have such a great customer service team and uh, also the support on social media is just fantastic. There are uh, three or four different groups for electric owners that have thousands of people in them and uh, you can basically learn anything you want about the bikes through the crowd. So um, definitely check out electric if you are in the market for your first e-bike. It's uh, something I think is a, it's a great entry level uh, product for anybody looking to uh, to grab their first e-bike. So $9.99 is the price. Um, and it comes with a uh, 500 watt motor, 9.6 amp hour battery. You know, you'll get uh, uh, 30 to 40 miles on, on one of those, depending on how you ride, of course. And uh, I think most people, you know, typically go 10 to 15 miles in a, in a ride. So, you know, you can probably get two rides out of that before you have to recharge it. And uh, it's just a great bike overall. So uh, it's got, uh, front suspension fork now and it comes with a comfort package you can get a suspension seat post uh, as well as a bunch of other add-ons so uh, that's the electric electric ebikes.com is the uh, url if you want to check it out all right let's move on to my next uh, affordable fat tire e-bike which would be the g-force uh, comes in a couple different versions here and to me this is the coolest looking uh, folding fat tire out there. Um, and uh, you can get it with two inch tires or four inch tires, which is interesting. Uh, but uh, I love the design of this e-bike. Uh, the one issue I have with it is the motor. It's only a 350 watt motor, which uh, that's, you know, compared to the 500 watt, that's pretty poor. So, um, but I love everything else about this bike in terms of its looks. Uh, it's got dual suspension, first of all. Um, you can see here the, the shock at the bottom and also on the front. Uh, I just love the look of it. Um, look at the uh, floating uh, 
fender here on the back. That's just really cool looking. Uh, the tires, these mag wheel tires with the three spokes. Uh, pretty badass. Here's the shocks. Direct charging. You can take the battery out as well. Let's see, the battery size in this one is 10.4 uh, amp hour. Okay, so it's the uh, same size as the original electric 1.0. It's got uh, 30 to 45 miles per charge. Again, the water, the, the motor is only 350 watt rear hub motor, which is back here. And um, I just wish that was 500. If it was 500 or more, I would probably buy this bike today. Um, but a little, little disappointed in the in the uh, the power of power of that right now. But uh, it's interesting. It looks like it's a little bit lighter bike too. It's got two inch tires. Uh, I'm not sure what the weight on this is, but Here's all the uh, components to it. Mid shock uh, absorber, it's only 56 pounds. So that's nice and light compared to the electric, which is 63. And uh, that's for the two inch uh, version of this. So interesting looking bike. I wish I wish they did upgrade the motor. Um, you know, if they put a 750 watt in this, that would be really cool. Uh, I would love to uh, to ride something like this, but uh, definitely the best looking bike out of all these. And I believe you can buy this on Amazon as well. So it's $9.99 in stock. And actually, you can get 50 bucks off with this coupon code on their website. So it's uh, g-forcebike.com is the URL. Next up will be the Hay Bike. Uh, Hay Bike makes a couple different versions of e-bikes. Uh, one of those is a folding fat tire called the Mars. And it's on sale right now for $9.99. <clears throat> Here's what it looks like. It's got a kind of rear mounted uh, battery that goes uh, horizontal to the uh, or vertical to the seat post. <clears throat> Pretty nice looking bike, very similar to the electric e bikes, just the way they store the battery is different. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the specs on this. So it's 500 watt motor, 12.5 uh, amp hour uh, battery capacity, uh, 20 miles an hour max speed, uh, 48 miles max range. Uh, max payload is 330 pounds. Um, the electric right now has the smallest battery out of all these bikes I'm showing you. So that's the one knock on electric these days. Everything else is great on electrics, but uh, the one knock is is the 9.6 amp hour battery, which is the smallest of all these. And I think uh, they're going to have to soon go to a bigger battery if they want to keep pace with the other competitors out there. Uh, there's just no way around that, right? Um, everyone else has bigger batteries, uh, and uh, that's what people want to they want to avoid that range of anxiety you want to have as big as batteries you can buy and um, keep that in mind so but uh, yeah the hay bike is a pretty nice looking bike for the money four inch tires on there <clears throat> it's got the seven speed uh, shimano transmission which uh, most of these bikes have dual shock absorber on the front uh, it's not a full suspension uh, bike, but uh, pretty cool looking. Uh, puncture resistant fat tires, multifunction display. So that's the uh, the Hay Bike Mars. Then you've got the Eco Tricks. Um, they're having a sale right now on these Eco Tricks, uh, kind of similar to the uh, the Mars, a little bit different frame design. Let's take a look. They have several e-bikes, several uh, fat tire e-bikes. They have 20 inch tires and 26 inch tires uh, that you can buy. Let's take a look at the 20 inch <clears throat> for comparing uh, apples to apples here. So they have different versions of it with uh, bigger and smaller batteries. Uh, the cheapest one would be this one here, 969. That's the uh, 48 volt fat tire portable folding electric e-bike with LCD display black and blue. Let's take a look at some of the specs on this one. It's an upgrade of the uh, 36 volt. So this one's 40. It's got 500 watt motor, which is kind of standard. 13 amp hour lithium ion battery. So that's the biggest battery so far for 969. That's pretty good. And I think they have coupon codes there too. So you can save a few bucks probably. Uh, four inch fat tires, aluminum frame, mechanical disc brakes. Uh, Shimano seven speed derailleur comes with a seat. Uh, let's see here, size guide. 
Here's the size guide. Do we have the weight of the bike in general? Yep, yeah, 58 pounds. So comes in a little bit lower than the electric. Um, <clears throat> you know, once you get past, you know, 60 pounds, these bikes are pretty heavy, right? Um, but uh, that is the EcoTrick, EcoTrick.com. I believe you can get these on Amazon as well. And again, they have different versions of the other uh, bike as well. Uh, the let's take a look at the 26 inch fat tires. <clears throat> these are not folding uh, bikes here, so uh, um, these do not fold up. Though today, I just want to concentrate on folding bikes. So those are the uh, I think all the those are four bikes that are 9.99 or less. There's a couple more I want to point out that are slightly higher in price. I think 11.99. And, um, but also still uh, very affordable bikes, you know, if you're looking for a folding fat tire. Uh, let's look at <clears throat> the Engway. Um, these are uh, getting some play these days. Let's take a look <clears throat> in the US warehouse here. These are 750 watt motors. And uh, let's see here. Yep. Ingway Engine Pro. Here we go. Uh, <clears throat> All right. So some of these are sold out, I think, as well. Um, yeah, sold out, sold out, sold out. Uh, this one's 1099, 500 watt. Um, this one's 1199. That's also sold out, 750 watt. So I got some different versions of this. Uh, the only one in stock, I guess, is the 750 uh, Engine Pro, this one here. <clears throat> Four inch tires, 12 uh, point amp hour battery, um, 1699, but I think you can get a, you can get a coupon off of that. But yeah, I'm not sure why the, this one's 1099, so the 500 watt um, comes in different colors, but again, it's out of stock right now. But that's something to look at as well. Uh, nice looking bike. Very similar to the uh, electric design wise and spec wise. Here are some of the uh, specs on it. Uh, maximum mileage, 45 to 55 kilometers, 500 uh, watt uh, high speed brushless gear motors, 20 inch fat tires. It's about 70 pounds, so on the heavier side. 12.5 amp hour lithium ion battery. Charging time about six hours. <clears throat> By the way, what's up with these names like these Engwe and um, Hay Bike? I mean, there's some weird names coming out of the uh, electric bike industry. Um, I think these Chinese companies need a little bit of better uh, marketers on their side to uh, come up with some more interesting names that are easy to spell too, right? Uh, I don't know how you. Is that W-I-E or is it W-E, W-E? I don't know. It's uh, a little weird uh, with some of these names out there. <clears throat> uh, next up would be the Friend. So I rode one of these uh, in the past. You can check out my previous video on the Friend. Uh, great bike, dual suspension, 750-watt uh, motor, and uh, the 1.0, which comes with a uh, smaller battery, is just $1,199. It's a 10.5 amp hour battery you get with it, 750 watt motor, um, <clears throat> foldable, a fang motor on there, twist throttle, and uh, it's got the uh, the cool uh, rim, uh, cool mag wheels on the bike, and uh, dual suspension. It's a little bit on the heavier side, it's like 72 pounds, I think, but uh, really nice bike. Um, definitely something I'm considering getting. So the 1199 comes with the 10.4 amp hour battery. If you bump it up to uh, fourteen ninety nine for the one point five, you get a seventeen point five amp hour battery. That is the biggest battery on any folding fat tire bike out there. And so, if I do buy a friend, I'm going to buy the one point five and get that bigger battery. And they're also going to give you the second battery as well uh, that you can bring with you. So you'll have thirty one amp hour um, in your back pocket there if you need it. But a uh, really nice looking bike. It's a little bit taller. Uh, I recommend it for taller, heavier riders, definitely. And uh, it's got a you know a, a taller stance than the uh, the electric, say, uh, with the three-inch tires overall. Here are some of the uh, 
components on there. Love those tires. Those are just cool with the tires, those mag wheels. And uh, this company's out of Massachusetts, actually, so not bad. <clears throat> and the last bike on the list would be the uh, GDS or the Polarna. Um, Polarna ebike at .com, $11.99. I think you can buy it on the Amazon. Uh, Sonny Whiters just bought one of these, and uh, he really likes it. Um, it's got a 500-watt uh, motor with a 10.4 amp-hour battery. I think they have, do they have a bigger version of it? Yeah, they do. Uh, with a 750, 14 amp hour. That is 1599. You know, basically when you're, when you're buying a bigger battery, that's what really increases the price. So uh, going from a 10.4 to a 14 amp hour here, you know, they're charging you what, 400 bucks more. So, uh, but a uh, pretty cool looking bike as well. From a folding fat tire standpoint, and uh, those are my picks, right? So uh, I love the folding fat tires because they fit in a car. Uh, you don't need a rack with them. Um, but also they're much more easy to transport. You can bring them anywhere, essentially. And uh, that's why I love uh, love these bikes. So um, that's my picks for uh, best affordable um, fat tire folding e-bikes. So uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.